guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Fitz's first pet visit. So as you guys know, I have been talking about in my videos that Fitz has been acting weird lately. I decided to call the vet today and ask, can I have an appointment? First, it took me like an hour to find a reptile vet in Philadelphia. There is no exotic pet hospital in Philadelphia, at least in where my area is. It's very hard to find one. I must have called four before one of them finally recommended me a reptile vet and there was only like two. So I decided to go to the one closest to my house. So anyway, I call up the new vet and I say, hey, can I take my lizard in for an appointment? And she's like, yeah, we have one at 2.30. That's when our exotic pet vet comes in. And so basically I had to tell them what I said was wrong with Fitz, what was going on. So mind you, Fitz does not like the car, if you guys know, like he does not like the car at all. So taking him there, I brought Michael with me. I asked him to come for emotional support because I really didn't know what was wrong with Fitz. Like I was really crying this morning. I was like, I need to take it to the vet. So that's exactly what I did. But anyway, I got there and they pretty much gave me paperwork. So I had to fill out uh, husbandry was, where he was born, when he was born, basically half the stuff I didn't even know. Obviously I knew the husbandry and all that, but I didn't know when he was born. I know I bought him October 27th, I think, or 29th. I bought him October 29th of 2017, but I don't remember where he was born. So they estimated to roughly around August 1st. Get to the vet and we get into the vet, you know, area. Basically I have Fitz running on the floor because he's been dying to get out of his cage all day. And so I just like let him out. I was like, go run around, get what you need to do. I have it on Snapchat. I could show you a clip right here. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat. Cause there's so much more to the vet appointment that um, I have on Snapchat and I'll include right here within the video. As soon as the vet comes in, she opens the door, if it starts out the door, like as soon as you open a door anywhere, a car door, a room door, anything, he'll run out. So he ran out and she caught him and she was like, oh, you're so handsome. Like she must have called him handsome like 25 times. It was so cute. Every time he, she called him handsome, me and Michael looked at each other and we're just cracking up because that's literally how I act with Fitz all the time. And Michael's just looking at me like, and if you're a pet owner, I'm sure you know, like you talk to your animals. Like, it's just a thing you do. Like, you compliment them. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So anyway, here's what I told the vet what was wrong with him. He wasn't going to the bathroom normally. Like, he was coming out in small pieces. He didn't eat at all. It got to the point where he wasn't eating at all. So that's why I was really concerned. He wouldn't stay under his basking lamp. He would glass surf like crazy. Like, he has raw skin right here in his leg. Well, on his hand. Because he just, like, goes crazy in his tank. And that's what he was doing with the carpet. So once I changed the substrate, it got a lot better. She exactly Examined him and she felt underneath his stomach and she said there wasn't a blockage she checked to see if he was a boy or a girl and she said it's a little too soon to tell but it looks like Fitz is a girl I actually got an email from the vet so I will read you guys that this is basically her examination of Fitz Fitz was bright and alert her eyes and nose were clear and free of discharge her abdominal palpitation was normal with no obvious discomfort or palpable material in her colon her oral activity was within normal limits and she appeared to be well hydrated her scales were in good condition so basically she said that Fitz was very hardy so she didn't feel any blockage said it wasn't as severe so she just decided to do the enema and I said go for it like whatever will get Fitz better it's basically when they get a tube and they stick it you know in the behind and they flush a liquid to flush out the rectum you know and lubricate it so that the stool is easier to pass so that's what she did let me tell you they have a pre picture of Fitz the guy at the office came up to me after he said I have a pre enema picture of Fitz can I post it on our Instagram so that's exactly what he did and then I have a video of him after I bought baby food, so I'm going to feed her tomorrow morning. No hard foods, just the baby food. I mean, I did buy crickets today, which was really dumb of me, right? Like, Fitz can't eat them anyway, so what am I going to do with them? So anyway, they're going to email me tomorrow and see how Fitz is doing. So let's hope he passes his stool or whatever's in there. And if he doesn't, let's just hope it's part of the reproduction because she said there could be little particles in there, like forming the eggs. And that could also be a reason why he's not going to the bathroom or eating. So let's just hope it's nothing really that serious. Fingers crossed. And let's hope Fitz gets better. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.